Look at the lazy Ned, lagging behind the monkey. Neds are mostly silly and stupid people, and probably can't even read this. Normal. Silly. Neds can be found walking around in large groups, hanging about outside shops, and delivering packages to their drug lords. Here we have a gaggle of Nedlings, plotting their next mischief. In the world of the Ned, smoking is mandatory by the age of seven, and young mothers can be seen everywhere. Some Neds have gone on to become public icons. Famous Neds include Liam Gallagher, Vinnie Jones and Cliff Richard. Neds enjoy driving around in cheap cars with expensive wheels. At night, the city streets are plagued with gangs of Neds wearing acid-coloured pulling shirts looking for fights. During this crucial confrontation, a new matriarch emerges and leads the southern clan into battle. <laughs> by day, the streets are terrorized by specially modified wheeled nets and cheeky young scamps, but the police are never far behind. In the time it took this old woman to walk out of her shot, there were six Ned-related crimes in a one-mile radius. So proof, if proof be need be, that Ned-related crime is on the increase. I mean, there's a common misconception in our society that you know, Ned is a, is a sort of social disease, it's a, it's a social status. But in fact, it's got nothing to do with a, you know, sociological issues at all. It's a, it's, a, it's a natural way. I mean, you know, a Ned can't be a human, just as you know, a duck can't help being a little fluffy thing. I mean, you can't train a duck to be a horse, can you? Professor Malchus Jewell is a leading mind in the field of Nedology. His groundbreaking work in this fledgling social science has enhanced its credibility, ensuring its growth as a respected field of study. His first book, Neds Have Feelings Too, has received mixed reactions from the academic community. Few have hailed it as a classic, and many have criticised its simplistic and ill-researched content. Well, many different terms for the Ned. I mean, you, you have this, the purely scientific one of a Ned Erectus. You then have the one that, that was coined by Socrates in ancient Greece, which is a bigoted ignoramus to the Maximus. Uh, that goes on to more modern phrases like uh, rabs, tams, kevs, chavs, toonsers, casuals, street monkeys. Renowned physicist Professor Stephen Hawking has also lent his considerable academic bulk to the subject of nedology. I believe every species on the planet has a right to exist and possesses a natural purpose to maintain equilibrium in the natural order. However, there is one exception. I have always found the net erectus to be entirely without purpose and quite without charm, not just from a scientific perspective but also on a personal level. Neds are ominous and must be shot. Stamp out the nets. Kill all the Neds. I fucking hate Neds. Well, what actually started you off? Um... From the track to the track. Folk legend and possessor of large hair, Bob Dylan, documented his hatred for Neds with his 1966 number one smash hit, Fucking Monkey.
everyone feels the same way about Neds. I like Neds. Neds are good. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been studying uh, Ned terminology for a few years now, and if you, uh, if you watch uh, daytime programs with the likes of Trisha, you will notice um, that their speech consists of uh, these key phrases. Um, one is, uh, what you see is what you get. Uh, second one is, uh, like it or lump it. Another one is, um, I am what I am. Uh, even uh, the more poetic, um, stop sharing, start caring, is one uh, used in all these mad relationship uh, brawls on, uh, on telly. Uh, but without a doubt, the most uh, overused and king of Ned phrases has to be um, at the end of the day. At the end of the time. 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 You've got to stop sharing and start caring. At the end of the time. At the end of the time. Personal preference at the end of the time. At the end of the day, people. I just can't uh, quite understand, you know, the young people.